friends welcome to this next video on uh, major theory we are almost uh, there to define the lebesgue integral i think in two three videos we'll do uh, we'll define the lebesgue integral but uh, a very important concept which we'll use again and again when we define the lebesgue integral is basically you are given a sequence of functions right you are given a sequence of function for example f1 f2 f3 all these are functions so we would like to know what do we mean by the convergence of the sequence of functions most of you already know this concept but just for the sake of completeness we'll discuss the concept of sequence of a uh, convergence of sequence of functions here okay so uh, we know that suppose we are given a sequence of numbers for example if i am given this sequence 1 1 by 2 1 by 3 1 by 4 basically the sequence is sequence 1 by n then i know that the sequence converges to zero okay so whenever you are given a sequence of numbers say for example 1 by 2 raised to power n then the con uh, then we say that the sequence converges to some limit say l it means that limit of 1 by 2 raised to power n n tending to infinity is l which in this case is zero right now but we when we have a sequence of functions then there are many meaning for many meanings for the convergence right so suppose you are given a sequence of functions say you are given the sequence of functions x upon n on a domain d then there are many meanings of convergence right uh, for us there are two meanings which are uh, useful one is point wise convergence and one is uniform convergence so let us try to you know understand what what, what is this point wise convergence and what is this uniform convergence right suppose you are given a sequence of functions say for example uh, this is the sequence of function you have this f1 f2 f3 f4 and so on for point wise convergence what you have to do and suppose you are given some domain of the functions there is a common domain of all the functions in the sequence suppose that domain is d for point wise convergence what you have to do you have to fix any point x not say in your domain d and then at x not you will compute f1 x not f2 x not f3 x not so basically you fix a point x not in your domain right then you compute f1 x not f2 x not f3 x not and so on so what is this this is a number this is a number you get a sequence of number right now you know about the convergence of sequence of numbers suppose this sequence converges to some function computed at x not right and th then you take some another point say x1 again you compute the value of function f1 at x1 then value of the function f2 at x1 f3 at x1 and so on if this sequence converges to the value f at x1 right some function computed at x1 now you repeat this process for every point of your domain repeat this process for every point of your domain i have called here a the domain so i'll just write it as a okay of your domain a and if the sec uh, the limit of the sequence which you are getting at a fixed point is converging to the value of some function f computed at that particular point then we say that our function is point wise convergent to that function so what is the definition of point wise convergence point wise convergence is basically uh, for a fixed x in a which is your domain you should get limit of n tending to infinity f n x is equal to f of x okay if this happens then you say that your function f n x is point wise convergent to the function f x so uh, in terms of epsilon delta epsilon terms we know the definition of limits in terms of epsilon delta or epsilon n we say that given any epsilon greater than 0 okay for all x in e you can choose an n and this n depends on this is a natural number it depends on both your epsilon and your x right so basically the convergence you are talking about is only limited to a particular point you don't have to worry about whole of the domain what you have to do you have to just fix a number x not in your domain then you have a sequence of numbers because every function you have computed at that point x not 
now you have to worry about the sequence of numbers and when you look at the convergence of the sequence of numbers then you will get an n and for a given epsilon right and that n will depend on epsilon and of course that n is de also dependent on which point you are, you have fixed right so this n is depending on x and epsilon when you are talking about point wise convergence so what is the definition the definition is given any epsilon less than 0 you can find an n which is depending on x and epsilon such that fn x minus fx is less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to n this is the definition of limit fn x is equal to fx and tending to infinity this is the definition of just this line which i have written above i have converted that line into epsilon and n okay so uh, the only point you have to note is that this particular n depends on your x and your epsilon right okay uh, we'll look at the uh, examples i think those examples will you know make you understand what exactly the concept is now let us look at the uniform convergence so the definition of uniform convergence is same exa uh, exactly the same except one point here also suppose we are given a sequence of functions then we say that the sequence of fun function is uniformly convergent to fx if for any given epsilon greater than 0 you can choose an n this n is now only dependent on epsilon and not an x it means that for whole of the domain you have just one n for a one epsilon okay if you fix an epsilon you will just get one l okay such that fn x is minus fx modulus is less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to capital n and this should be true for all x okay so you must note that the only difference between point wise limit and the uniform uh, point wise convergence and uniform convergence is in that case in point wise convergence n depends on epsilon and x and in uniform convergence n depends on epsilon only and not on x that is why it is called uniform it means that there is a uniform value of n for all the x in your domain a right now let us look at some examples the first example we look at is x by n okay so you have the sequence of functions f fn x is equal to x by n so basically when n is equal to 1 you have f1 x is equal to x when n is equal to 2 you have f2 x is equal to x by 2 and when n is 3 then you have f3 x is equal to x by 3 and so on so basically these are the graphs which you can look at this is the graph of y is equal to x then y is equal to x by 2 then y is equal to x by 3 and this is the graph of y is equal to x by 20 and this 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 line is a graph of this particular line is a graph of x by 50 and the line which is very close to x axis is x by 100 okay now you can see that actually we are uh, moving closer to the line y is equal to 0 so actually this function the sequence of function is convergent to 0 function this is not a number this is 0 function right okay now we claim that this convergence is pointwise and not uniform so what do we mean by that so let us first prove that this, this uh, convergence is pointwise okay so uh, for proving that the convergence is pointwise what you have to prove is given any epsilon greater than 0 you can find a natural number n which, which is actually dependent on epsilon and x such that x by n minus f is less than epsilon and what is this f this f is a limiting function and in this case we have guessed our limiting function to be 0 how we have guessed that that is nothing but limit we have just taken the limit and tending to infinity x upon n and for a fixed x this x upon n if your x is fixed this is just 0 right so we have to prove that we have to prove that given any epsilon greater than 0 you can choose some n such that x by n minus 0 is less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to n and if th this n depends on epsilon and x then this is a pointwise convergence and if you somehow can find an n which is independent of x then that is a uniform convergence so right now we are just concerned about uh, pointwise convergence so we we will find our n how we can find we want this thing to happen we want that x by n minus 0 should be less than epsilon for all n greater than equal to capital n now this is possible if and only if 1 by n is less than is equal to 1 by capital n okay because your 
uh, I'm sorry, this will be greater than okay. If and only if one by n is greater than equal to one by n. If n n is smaller than okay. So it means that this is possible only when mod of x by n is less than is equal to mod of x by n capital N. So it means that if we choose we don't have a control on this small n but we have a control on capital N. So if we choose your capital N such that mod of x by capital N is less than epsilon right that is your n is greater than equal to greater than x mod of x by epsilon then this thing will be true right okay so we have chosen our n to be greater than x by epsilon now for all n greater than equal to capital n you can see that if you take x by n minus 0 that will be equal to x by n upon n and because n is greater than capital n so that is less than is equal to capital n upon n and we have chosen our n which is greater than uh, here from here your epsilon is greater than x by n so you can put it here right so it means that first we have this is nothing but this is called back engineering so kind of cheating okay we have you know uh, uh, backward using the backward process we have found out the value of epsilon sorry capital n in terms of x and epsilon and using that n we have proved that f n x minus f is less than epsilon right and because your n depends on this n depends on f x and epsilon so you have proved that the limit is point wise right now we look at whether the limit is uniform or not and the claim is the limit is not uniform on r so how can we uh, see that the limit is not uniform so actually what you can do is uh, we want to show that there is no n which work for every x okay so uh, the limiting function is zero of course so if i uh, choose epsilon less than one i can choose any epsilon right everything should be true for all the epsilon i choose and x is equal to n right now see what will be fn x minus zero okay this is at x is equal to n this is going to be fn n minus zero and what is fn n your fn x is defined upon as x upon n so fn n is n upon n that is one so this is one minus zero this is one which is greater than my epsilon because my, i have chosen my epsilon to be less than one it means that you are given an epsilon which is less than one right if we choose any capital n right howsoever large it is say 10 to the power 10 okay it cannot work for all x why because for x is equal to n plus 1 whatever your capital n is just take the next x is equal to n plus 1 uh, x is equal to n plus so at x is equal to n plus 1 what is the value of the function fn plus 1 okay so this is going to be 1 which is greater than your epsilon it means that there is no uh, capital n existing which will work for all the uh, you know x's right so uh, which will work for all x in your domain k right it means that the convergence is not uniform so uh, to look at uh, it more deeply what we can do is we can just go back to the graph suppose uh, actually what is happening why this is a point wise convergence not a uniform convergence suppose you fix any epsilon say i have fixed my epsilon like this this is my epsilon right now you can see that at particular this point 2 this is your function f1 and this is fu uh, your function f2 and this is your function f3 after uh, n is equal to 3 all the functions are in vicinity of epsilon to your graph y this is the graph y is equal to 0 and at this point 3 to come for this particular epsilon you have to pass f1 f2 f3 okay at 3 you have to reach up to 4 to achieve this epsilon okay and you move further at 4 okay it is correct at 4 you you need uh, the same uh, uh, for, uh, at x is equal to 4 you have f1 f2 f3 and f4 is in the vicinity but if you move further right so 
if you move ahead in your domain on real line you will see that there cannot exist a particular n capital n which will work for all the x's in your domain such that uh, you come in a vicinity epsilon right we can actually uh, look at the video of this function uh, by varying n you can just draw you can just look at this uh, graph here this is the graph of the okay just look at this thing this is the graph of the line y is equal to x by n you see here uh, now it will start again this is going backward this is x is equal to 1 to n 100 okay you can see that in this portion from minus 2 to 2 you are very close to uh, 0 but further from uh, when you are uh, near minus infinity or plus infinity you are still very away from y is equal to 0 so one epsilon one capital n cannot work for all the x's in your domain so that's why this convergence is not uniform okay we'll look at uh, some more examples in the next videos so that uh, you can have more clarity about the uniform and the pointwise convergence thank you